when I was nine and 10 years old, I was on tractors driving them up and down the road along with other tractors, but I can remember being involved with it that long. I've got the best brother in the world. We work well together. He looks after the peanuts and the watermelons, and I kind of do the corn and the cotton, and we intermingle and we do what we have to do to help each other. My dad's very involved. He, he still helps with the irrigation and moving us around and keeping an eye on things. He is a tremendous asset to us. I think if you break it down to our cotton crop, we've got about 32 million cotton plants, and I look at that as 32 million little employees. And I'm trying to keep them as happy as I can. I'm trying to keep water to them. I'm trying to keep their soil that their roots are in as nice of an environment as it can be. I'm trying to make sure that they're fed. And I'm trying to do the best that I can for them. And then, they, then our little 32 million employees are doing a real good job for us. If you'll take care of the land, it'll take care of you. And you'll hear a lot of people around here say that. That's always been a saying, and, it, and it's been passed down from my dad. He was one of the first that utilized the NRCS, or Soil Conservation Service at the time, for the benefits that they had. He saw that the benefits of taking care of the land and keeping it from eroding and washing, and he passed that along to me and my brother. And over the years, we've tried to learn as much as we could about creating organic matter to hold more nutrients in the soil and be able to use less water and not have erosion, and, and our land's actually getting better. We have a fair number of landowners come in wanting to build irrigation ponds, and they know that I can give them a farm pond exemption if it's for irrigation, and it makes the whole process simple. We've been involved with CSP since the start of the program. It's been a wonderful program, especially from the start, because it rewarded farmers for doing a good job to start with. We've utilized that program and the EQIP program. What's been nice about EQIP is we've been able to change over some diesel irrigation motors over to electric motors. Brian came into the office early last winter and was going to redo a pond and was going to raise the water level, so he needed advice on the size of the pipe to install. So we sent that to some of our engineers and they came up with a pipe size and he installed that and has finished that pond and redone grass waterways around that pond and even planted pecan trees and installed irrigation around that pond. The land's not really ours, it's just on loan from God and we want to make sure that we take care of it. It won't always be in this family, but someone will benefit from it, and we're going to take care of it while we have it.